Hey everyone, I'm just going to do a quick simple dotting nail art tutorial and I'm going to be using Lilac Longing and Cake Pop. Okay, so I have actually cheated just to save time. What I've done is two coats of Lilac Longing and I've done the tip in Cake Pop. Now, I'm rubbish at French, I hate doing French, so excuse me if that tip looks really slightly lopsided to you. And what I'm just going to do for the rest of it is I'm going to get my tile, which I haven't cleaned from the last tutorial, and I'm just going to pop some cake pop on to the tile. Back in a sec. Okay, guys, so I've done the cake pop, and I am now going to use the small end of my dotting tool. Sorry, I've just got lots of mess in the background. I'm just going to move the dotting, the, the tile out of the way so it's not taking away from the colour pop. So... I'm going to, I'm only going to edge this one, I could do dots all over it, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to show you a different design. So, nice amount of shellac on your dotting tool, and do your dots where you want them, and if you anchor, oh sorry guys, you really can't see that, can you? If you anchor your finger down, you get a better... steadier hand I guess so I've done just around the edge of the French and now I'm going to go up the sides so just try and keep your dots the same with the same gap in between I may or may not do that for instance that one's a little bit small you can go over them but depending on what color you're using particularly if you're using um, cream puff the dots can wrinkle very very easily and I get that so I try not to use cream puff for my dots because I'm a bit rubbish with cream pop no cream puff sorry cream pop and getting the two of them mixed up anyway carry on doing your dots just make that one a bit bigger and if you're lucky they'll all meet up equally so then you have this cute little outline design. You could do the dots a lot smaller and you could do them a lot closer together, but that's how I've chosen to do it. So I'm going to just pop back in a sec once it's top coated. Okay, guys, I've cured this. It's been in the lamp for two minutes, so it's had its top coat. And I've removed the inhibition layer. And let me just see if I can focus on that for you. Okay, so... My French isn't the best, but that just gives you another idea what you can do with a dotting tool and just something simple and easy, maybe as a feature nail. Um, yep, yeah, and I hope that helps you, gives you some kind of ideas what you can do if you haven't tried dotting before. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye.